Today we will talk about the top 10 best places to visit in Sweden. While Sweden is famous for giving us IKEA and Volvo automobiles, it's also a visitor's paradise. Sweden has become a top tourist destination in Northern Europe with its stunning varied landscapes, rich heritage and friendly inhabitants. This Scandinavian country is especially great for outdoor lovers with its clear waters and air, acres of untouched forests, picturesque lakes, and many archipelagos along its coasts. In this video, we are going to explore the top 10 best places to visit in Sweden. Keep watching to experience fun-filled cities, leafy coastal towns, winter wonderlands, and hidden gems that Sweden has to offer. Number 10. Kosterhavet National Park Starting off our list is Kosterhavet National Park, Sweden's first national marine park. This national park is part of Skagrik Sea and constitutes the shores and sea around the coaster islands near the Norway border. Kosterhavet National Park is one of the best places to observe thousands of protected marine life species, many of which you can't find anywhere else in Sweden. The cold water coral reefs provide a home to plenty of swarming underwater fauna. You can also observe rare seabirds like the skuas, arctic terns, and harbor seals. Kosterhavet National Park is a valuable recreational resource and one of Sweden's most popular tourist destinations. Visitors frequent the park all year round to engage in fun activities such as fishing, swimming, biking, snorkeling, diving, and kayaking. Number 9. Lavon Island Lavon is a relatively small island on Lake Malaren. Despite its size, it has a vibrant history, having been inhabited since the Stone Age. Today, the island is a major tourist destination, particularly during summer. So what drives visitors to this tiny little lake island? That would be the fairy tale Drottingholm Palace, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the residence of the Swedish royal family. The 17th century Drottingholm Palace features a superb terraced garden with bronze sculptures from Denmark and Bohemia. It also has an 18th century palace theater that still hosts performances during summer. Guided tours of the Grand Palace will also take you through the Chinese Pavilion and the Theater Museum. Another highlight of Lavon Island is the 12th century Lovo Church, which features a sanctuary and room stones. Number 8. Marstrand Marstrand is a city on the Swedish west coast. The seaside town is most famous for its glitzy ambience, where film stars, royalty, and other celebrities have historically visited for vacations. Marstrand is also a popular sailing destination. If you want to explore the Baltic waters, then this is the place. One of the major attractions in Marstrand is the 17th century Karlsten Fortress. You can climb to the top of this majestic stone structure for amazing views of the waters, taking in Marstrand's natural wonders. The city's picturesque cobblestone streets are lined with historic ornate pastel-colored buildings. Marstrand has something for nature lovers, too, with scenic hiking trails. Other attractions that make a great day trip include Strandverkert Art Museum, the Paternoster Lighthouse, and the city's legendary opulent spas. Number 7. Swedish Lapland If unforgettable wilderness adventures are your cup of tea, Swedish Lapland is the best place to check out in Sweden. The wildlands are situated far north above the Arctic Circle. Summer shines all year in Swedish Lapland, which the hardy, indigenous Sami inhabit. Adventure lovers flock to Sweden Lapland for hiking, canoeing, and wildlife viewing. One of the best ways to experience the best Swedish Lapland is via a drive along Wilderness Way from Stromsund Canoeing Center to the church town of Vilhelmina, where you can witness the traditional Swedish lifestyle. You can also visit Karuna, which is Sweden's northernmost town. You can view the midnight sun and the northern lights from mid-May to mid-July. Tourists also visit the unique ice hotel at Jukos Jarvi to enjoy fishing, canoeing, river rafting, and paddle boarding. Would you love to travel to any of our picks so far? Keep watching the video to learn something you probably didn't know about Sweden's capital. Hit the like button if you love our content and subscribe to Fly the Atlas for more adventurous travel content. Number 6. Gotland Gotland is the largest island in Sweden. This archipelago has been gaining international popularity due to its sunny climate, calm shorelines, and the island's main town of Visby. Visby, also known as the Pearl of the Baltic, is a medieval town and a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. Visby is full of medieval history and is renowned for its 94 medieval churches, most of which are in use. 
the church's bare Gothic and Romanesque architectural styles. Quaint cobblestone streets meander about the old town, and you can lose your sense of the modern world while here. You can also check out preserved medieval trading houses and 17th century timber buildings. Bisbee also hosts medieval during summer, which boosts visitor numbers. Direct flights and ferry links to Gotland are available from Stockholm and other cities. Number 5. Sundsvall Sundsvall, in Vaster Norland County, is best known for its peculiar history with fires that got it the nickname Stenstaden, or the Stone City. The city has burned down and been rebuilt four times. After the last fire in the late 1800s, a decision was made to reconstruct Sundsvall using some stone. For this reason, the buildings in Sundsvall make for unusual sights, especially compared to the traditional Swedish ones found on the coast. The city's center, or Storgatan, is a famous main street in the city's heart. Many tourists come to Sundsvall for the history and to witness the architecture of the mighty stone houses firsthand. Sundsvall also boasts a famed museum celebrating local artists featuring sculptures, paintings, and art exhibits. Malmo Malmo is the largest city in the county of Skane and is linked to Denmark via the Orson Bridge. This historic city offers a unique blend of old and new. You can marvel at the old town, which features three main squares and the Castle Malmus slot. The city landscape is also studded with modern contemporary buildings. The Turning Torso is a new 190-meter architectural masterpiece and Sweden's most talked-about structure. As an influential art and cultural hub in Sweden, Malmo has been making waves. The city boasts numerous up-and-coming and eclectic art galleries. The city is also committed to environmental causes and fair trade business, being the first fair trade city in Sweden. Tourists also flock to Malmo for a unique dining experience. Many restaurants in the city serve farm-to-table dishes made from local ingredients and fresh organic produce. Tourists and locals also enjoy an emerging nightlife scene. Number 3. Uppsala The picturesque medieval city of Uppsala was home to old Swedish kings. You may easily forget you're in Sweden's fourth largest city if you stroll down the winding old town streets. This university city has a laid-back ambience, with parks and waterways adding to the tranquility. Here you can find plenty of restaurants, cafes, shops, and the city's main attractions. Uppsala's distinctive landmark is the magnificent 13th century Uppsala Cathedral. The cathedral has been renovated many times, and notable figures like King Gustavus and Carl Linnaeus are buried within. Another popular attraction is the 15th century Gustavinum. The museum contains Nordic and Egyptian antiques. Tourists also visit Uppsala to check out the Uppsala Castle, Gamla, Uppsala Viking, Burial Mounds, and Linnaeus Museum, the medieval Holy Trinity Church, and the lake town of Sigtuna. Number 2. Gothenburg Gothenburg is Sweden's second city, but it's very different from its brother city, Stockholm. The city has become a top tourist destination, especially for food lovers. Award-winning world-class restaurants draw in tourists globally. Besides fine food, Gothenburg has plenty to offer. You wouldn't know where to start. You can enjoy the exhilarating ride at Lisburg Amusement Park, the largest of its kind in Scandinavia. Roller coasters, thrilling rides, all-year concerts, and markets make Lisburg a popular attraction. You can also stroll and view wildlife in the leafy Slotskogen Park and Zoo. Do you love adventure? Scenic outdoors, charming villages, and pristine beaches await you in Gothenburg's southern archipelago, where you can reach from the Stoutholmen Ferry Port. Other notable attractions in Gothenburg include the Gothenburg Botanical Garden, the Gothenburg Museum of Art, the Historic Haga District, the Garden Society, and the Fish Market. Number 1. Stockholm We have come to the end of our Sweden tour, and topping off our list is, you guessed it, the capital Stockholm. Visitors love the capital for its world-class museums, art galleries, theaters, beautiful parklands, and more. The first stop for many tourists is Old Town Stockholm, with its authentic restaurants, cafes, and boutique shops. You can also visit the Vasa Museum and relive Sweden's seafaring days, check out the world's oldest open-air museum, and hop aboard a Stockholm boat tour. The offerings at Jurgarden Island Park are a major draw, with several museums, cafes, and hotels. 
A tour of the 18th century royal palace, the official residence of the King of Sweden, is a must. Other popular must-visit destinations include Stockholm's Photography Museum, Skyview, the largest spherical building in the world, the National Museum of Fine Arts, Moderna Mosset, Stockholm Medieval Museum, and Ostermalm District. You can travel almost anywhere via the underground railway system and an excellent bus network. As you can tell from our picks, there is no shortage of attractions in this Scandinavian country. Which palace do you think is more interesting? The Queen's residence in Loven Island or the Royal Palace in Stockholm? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to experience more of Earth's amazing locations. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.